Welcome to the Walk Talks podcast, a resource produced by Southland Christian Ministries located in Ringgold, Louisiana. Our purpose is to provide you with daily devotions so that you can faithfully grow in your relationship with Christ each and every day. We hope these truths will be an encouragement to you as you hear from God's Word today. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Ephesians 5.1 Welcome back to Walk Talks Podcast. I'm Scott Bratt. There is hardly a sweeter relationship than parent and child. And this is the relationship we have available to us with God. See that in this verse. As dear children. As a boy, I enjoyed playing and playing with toys, playing outside. Maybe every now and then playing some games with my sisters. But no matter what I was doing or playing, when I saw my mother's car coming down the the street from work, I stopped and I ran to the driveway to meet her. I'd welcome her home with a warm hug. And it was a sweet, sweet time. This close relationship is what we are called to with our Heavenly Father. What an honor and a privilege and amazing access this relationship has made available to us. Um, But it's not just automatic. You see, this verse tells us that it comes from following God. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Just as the verse begins... Um, we see what we have to do. We have this opportunity to run to our Father and embrace Him, but it only comes when we obey Him. The verse says, Be therefore followers of God. This therefore is referring us back to chapter 4 of Ephesians. And at the end, it just gives us a lot of commands that we can model our life and and guide our steps. Wherefore, put away lying. Speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. Let no man corrupt Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. And then it goes right into chapter 5. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. We have this opportunity to run into our Father, our Heavenly Father, the, the Father of the universe, and embrace Him when we obey Him, when our life looks like this. Do you have, do you enjoy this sweet relationship with our Father? I know that my relationship with him could be sweeter. I, I need to improve in my following. If we follow God, we'll have a close and sweet relationship with our Heavenly Father. However, the opposite is true as well. See, there were many other times that I did not run out to welcome my mother or father. There were times that I dreaded their return home from work. In those instances... It, it was like that because I had misbehaved. And there was a, a broken rule resulting in a broken fellowship. I didn't want to be near them because I knew I had not followed their rules. And there was judgment. There was consequences. I'm sure you can recognize this in your own life. When you're following God, time with Him is sweet. When you're not following God... Time with Him is hard or even avoided. When we walk with the Lord in the light of His grace, 
what a glory he sheds on our way. When we do his good will, he abides with us still and with all those who will trust and obey. We have a wonderful, powerful, loving, and forgiving leader to follow. He has given us laws and commandments and verses to live by. He's shown us the steps that we need to take in our walk of life to be his dear child of his. Our Heavenly Father wants a close, loving, sweet relationship that comes from a walk that talks. Thanks for listening to the Walk Talks podcast. We trust that what you've heard today has challenged your walk with God. It is our prayer that through this podcast, every listener would strive to become more like Christ and faithfully live for Him each and every day. Join us next time, and God bless.